What's going on you guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about what $1,500 used to get you in San Francisco and what $1,500 can do for you right now during the difficult times, during the pandemic and what's happening right now. So if you ever wanted to live in San Francisco, I think this is your chance and this video is definitely for you. What we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna take a look at the landing apartment. This is one of the best deals out there that me and my friends could find and this is the best bang for your buck. Aside from a couple other options, I'll be releasing a video next week on the best option that we have found. But in this video, we're going to talk about the lending apartment. We're going to talk about their amenities, their pricing. We're going to also talk about the best things for you to do when moving to a big city like San Francisco. And I'll show you some quick images of what things used to be like and how much the prices have actually come down, giving opportunity for some people to either move back to San Francisco or to move to San Francisco for the first time ever and experience what all the rage is about here. But without further ado, let's get started. And if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, my name is Max. I do lots of videos on investing and rent. Definitely check them out after this video. Now let's get started looking at these awesome apartments. So the apartments we'll be looking at, all of these are below $1,500. And I think that's absolutely amazing for a city like San Francisco, which is built on such a high demand and such a high paying job market. To kick off this video, we're gonna look at some of the great amenities that this apartment offers, such as gym, rooftop, game room, study room. And then later towards the end of the video, I'll show you three apartments and we'll quickly talk about them as well. All right, so walking through this first common area here, this is like a chill hangout place where you can watch something on the big screens, hang out, make some cocktails maybe even, that would be pretty awesome. And as we continue, there's a gym on our left side. And I believe for this place, it was reservation based. So you can see some people are actually using the gym and there was a certain number of people allowed. This is pretty common during the time due to the pandemic, of course, but it's definitely better than what some of the other apartments are doing during this time where they just don't let you use the gym at all. And this is their theater room. I think it's pretty nice to have a theater room. I love this layout here of just this giant couch. So you can definitely do like a quick little cuddle puddle with all your friends and just enjoy a movie or play some games maybe even. Next, we have this game room area. They have foosball, they have connect the dots, they have Pac-Man, I believe, right there. And they have a place to fix your bike if needed. So I think this is an overall pretty cool room. I have seen some better game rooms, but you are getting quite a bit here, I think in my opinion. So we're pretty excited about this place overall, just by looking at the amenities so far. And this is their walkway to the rooftop. This is very industrial looking, using rust and metal has been pretty common nowadays. And this is their rooftop here. They have a bunch of grilling spots, so you can definitely hang out with your friends and enjoy your time like that. It was a beautiful and sunny day. As always, the weather is always great in San Francisco. So you can definitely utilize the rooftop 95% of the year. And as we continue on here, they had a game here. I think I want to say this is bocce ball, but I'm really not sure. <laughs> Don't quote me on it. And then they have croquet on the grass there right beside it as well. And when we move forward, they have some really nice hammocks and sitting areas, which we enjoyed. As we toured the place, we just kind of sat down here for a minute and took a breather. And that right there basically sums up the amenities at the place. Overall, they were really high class in my opinion. Everything was high grade and there was lots of little things like lots of little games. There's lots of barbecues. There's lots of games on the rooftop. And the more entertainment apartment has, I think the better, the better socialization is going to be at that apartment as well. But without further ado, let's take a few quick looks at the videos that we have of the rooms and go from there. As you walk in, you got a beautiful kitchen to your right. And we go into this small little bedroom here that does have its own bathroom. And it's always nice to have a bathroom attached to a room. I'm sure everyone appreciates that. It was it had a double mirror. That was kind of weird. But as we exit this bedroom, it wasn't too big nothing too crazy as we exit this bedroom we can again appreciate that kitchen i do really like that kitchen and then we can make our way to the next bedroom here shortly it's got an okay closet space and then a bathroom right beside it but not attached to the room this is actually a two bed two bath 
I don't have a price for this particular room here, but this is just to give you an example and feel what some of the places are like there. The rooms also felt a little dingy just because they had a tiny little window and not a lot of natural light and not a lot of people appreciate that. So let's move on to another apartment. All right, so this apartment here, we got a pretty nice kitchen and a small little island. We got a lot of natural light, great hardwood flooring, a great balcony. This room finally has some great light and an okay view, like it's not looking into just another apartment. So that was pretty nice to see. And this apartment here, you can pick up for $1,500 with some roommates. So that's per person, you'd be paying $1,500. But for the three bedroom here, I believe this was 4,500. And as we go to this room, I didn't like this room. It was very dingy. It had one tiny window in it. And it looks like this is the master bedroom because it does come with a bigger closet and it does come with a bathroom attached to it. So that was kind of weird that the master bedroom had a worse aesthetic than the other bedroom, which is technically not a master bedroom. I really love the kitchen, love, love that gas stove. This is a decent bathroom here as well. I don't know what they have with the double mirrors going on. So in total three bedrooms and both those bedrooms had a much better view and much better space than the one that has a bathroom attached to it. And you can definitely have a roommate that really likes to have their own private bath, but doesn't really care about natural light or anything like that. And they could be happy with that. All right, and this right here is the last apartment. This is by far my favorite apartment. As you walk in, you get a ton of natural light from all of these windows. I thought that was absolutely amazing. We get that beautiful kitchen here as well. The biggest drawback though of this place was the small rooms. This room was okay. It's got a giant window and a balcony attached to it, but the size of it was kind of small, but it kind of starts to get worse from here as we go to some of the other bedrooms. This bedroom kind of looks a little bit depressing, even though you get a little bit more square footage. And as we go, it also has one of the nicest bathrooms here as well. So that was really good to see. And this place right here was also within budget. I think it's a little bit more expensive than some of the other places at $1,600 because you do get a much larger space. You get a lot of natural light. This is the other bedroom here, which also has a bathroom attached to it. So this is a three bed, three bath. This is a pretty decent bathroom attached to this bedroom. This is a pretty nice bedroom apart from the lack of the natural light. And as we exit here into the common area, we can also go to the nice little patio balcony here. So I think that's pretty nice. And that concludes the tour of the landing apartments. The prices range from 1380 all the way to $1,600 for some of the better apartments out there. I want to show you guys some pictures of what you could get for that price previously before everything started going down. I'll also show you the rates right here of how things have come down since the highs of 2018. So you can definitely check that out. Take a look at this room here. This was $1,600 and some of my friends were actually getting charged $1,700 for this. So they were unfairly charged more than the other people here. It was just a matter of when they signed the deal and so on and so on. So somebody was paying $1,700 for this right before the pandemic started. And now you can get a place like this with this amazing natural light, a great kitchen, beautiful open space for just exactly the same price or even less for some of the other apartments that we have looked at today. So guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you are enjoying this video so far, definitely smash that like button. As far as the neighborhood goes, this is a great neighborhood. Potrero Hill is one of the nicest neighborhoods in all of San Francisco, in my opinion. However, if you are biking or skateboarding, longboarding, whatever it may be, be aware Potrero Hill means it's on a hill. So keep that in mind. I think it's a, a, a really nice neighborhood. It's fairly clean. I really like the neighborhood as a whole. There's nothing sketchy going on around it. And people that I work with at my job, they also love this neighborhood a lot as well. You get some really nice views of overall city when you are in this apartment and you are in this neighborhood. So definitely keep that in mind that this is a really nice neighborhood with great parks all around it and things are generally pretty quiet. All right, and on that note, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, I'll see you next time.